So this is a short tutorial on this little window. You may have seen your Caspersky client on how to set up your uh, live uh, input in your client. I don't use it that much because I normally have a multi-view uh, actually showing my uh, output of Caspersky G, but in some cases it would be nice just to have, especially if you're doing a smaller production and you have a separate overlay operator and a monitor for that person. So I already have my Casper CG server uh, started up. And now if we connect, we can connect to the fill or the key of this server that is running. Uh, if you have multiple channels, you can you will see multiple uh, devices here. So let's just add this one. And now you have a uh, black image, correct? Because Casper CG is actually black at the moment. So let me open a rundown. Here you can see that it's actually uh, outputting uh, what I'm sending to Casper CG. Uh, but as you notice, there's like a second delay on it. And uh, that is because it's a stream uh, that we're opening within the client. So if we want to uh, have less delay, we go to settings, go to live stream, and there we uh, have the quality and the network cache. A uh, cache, uh, and that one is now set to a thousand milliseconds. Uh, I normally set it to a hundred. I only use it to see what I'm outputting anyway. Uh, so quality is not my biggest uh, thing I'm worried about. Let's set the quality to 50. And like it says, it's recommended to restart the Casper CG client after you change any settings. So we press OK. We're going to close the client. We're going to open it again. And now we, with the client open, let's open that same rundown again. Um, and we're going to connect to our fill channel of our Casper GT server. And now you see there's way less delay. Quality is not that good, but if you only want to see what it's outputting, um, this is the way to do it. Uh, one tip, I would normally get into issues if my network is set to lower than 100. Uh, so you can try it, but normally uh, it doesn't play well. 